We don't think it's unreasonable to assume that amine blush occurs on any epoxy coating that's in contact with air. And that is almost certainly going to be the final coat in a coating process. What does it look like? Well, I'm hoping that you can see on these two panels that one is highly glossy and the other has a satin finish. What you're seeing on the satin finish is actually amine blush. This occurs more readily in a damp, cold environment. This is cured in a very good environment. What do we do with amine blush? Well, it's actually quite a simple remedy to remove it. What you would do before sanding is just wash this surface with warm soapy water, dry it off with paper towels, and then abrade it scrupulously. If you don't do that, I'm hoping that this illustrates what will happen. You'll see that you will start to clog the abrasive sandpaper. The problem with this is that as the sandpaper clogs, all you do is distribute the amine blush all over the surface of your work. Now, why is that a bad problem? The reason it's a bad problem is because, in effect, you're creating almost like a release film over the surface of your work. So any subsequent coating, it may be an epoxy coating, it may be a paint system, the adhesion of that will be totally compromised because the amine blush creates a contaminated surface. So to remove amine blush, it's a simple case of washing the surface with warm soapy water, cleaning dry with paper towels, and then abrading with good quality 80 grit paper for an epoxy to epoxy bond, maybe finer for a paint bond, but nothing ever finer than 180 grit. Wet sanding also, wet and dry sanding, is also a good measure of removing the amine blush, rinsing with with warm water and then cleaning and drying with paper towels. Of course, there is a better way of dealing with amine blush and this really is best practice and it's our faithful friend, peel ply. Peel ply fabric is fantastic. If you apply it to a, a coated surface while the epoxy is still wet, it becomes totally transparent and once the epoxy is cured, you can rip this away and underneath, it will leave a copy of the texture of the weave of the peel ply, but you are removing the amine blush on the surface of the peel ply, and then you have a pristine, ready prepared surface upon which to do a secondary bond or to apply paint.